Welcome to Aunt Hetty's Creative Home where we do crafting, baking, cooking, and other do-it-yourself projects. Today I'm going to do a fall craft compilation of 12 do-it-yourself crafts that I've done so far for this fall season. Our first one is going to be a Jenga block pumpkin. Now, I'm going to do these videos extra fast since I also have them slowed down on my channel. And I will link them all on here so that if you want it slowed down a little bit, you can watch it when I did it for the first time on my channel. So I'm just putting these together. It takes eight blocks for each pumpkin. I did some big ones and some small ones. And you can see there's three on each side. And then on the ends, we'll put in the ones to put between each of the sides. And of course, we're gonna paint them. My colors this season are a light aqua and a light peach and kind of a creamy color. So I'm just using some chalk paint, but you can also use other acrylics. I'm using a cream and pumpkin colored orange for the peachy color. And I ended up doing two smalls and one large per set. I make two sets so I can give one set as a gift. So I'm just distressing them with a little distress ink. And then I'm going through and I'm gonna fill the centers with some embellishments. So I'm gonna put in a little Spanish moss. I used sticks from outside for my stems. And then I had some leaves from um, florals that I'd gotten that I took off for this. And I also used some floral stems that weren't being used to make little curly cues on some of them. So I just kind of went around and gave each of them their own personality. Now I just used hot glue to get them to stick together and they all stuck pretty well. If you want them to be a little sturdier, you could always use your glue gun to temporarily get them together. And then you can use some E6000 along with it to keep it stronger. And here's how they came out. I just love them so much. And this video is actually one of my most viewed videos. So it's been very popular. I love these colors together. I'm excited to see more of them for fall. So we will get ready now for the second do-it-yourself project that I've got today. And we're going to revamp some foam pumpkins. So this first one I have is a white one. I got this at Michael's on um, half price. I believe it was $3. And I've got an old doorknob from an old door. And I didn't know what to do with it. I've had it for a while. And I thought, well, I'm going to put that as the stem of my pumpkin. These happen to be hollow inside. So I just kind of pushed my handle down into the pumpkin to make a hole so I could see approximately how it was going to fit. And then I just took some more of the orange paint with a little cream mixed in it. It's Apple Barrel's Jack-O-Lantern is the orange color, which is fitting. So after that dries, I added a cute little raffia bow and it just looks so cute. Thank you. 
Here you can see them with the little pumpkins that I just made. And there's a pumpkin that I made in another video. And next we're going to be making this fall sign. So our fall sign is going to be a do-it-yourself number three. And we are going to use an old frame that I had that I didn't really care for anymore. I wanted to change it up. So first I just measured inside of it and I took some measurements and cut the scrapbook paper where I wanted it. This is actually a light aqua colored scrap paper. And then I took some more of my orange that I've been using and I went ahead and took two of the Tumbling Tower Jingle Blocks from Dollar Tree. And then I used the bigger Jenga Blocks for the bigger pumpkins. So I took four all together. But if you have a different size frame, you can take as many as you want or as few as you want. And then I just distressed them a little bit with some burlap distress ink from Tim Holtz and glued some stems on, glued them in the frame, added some little bows with jute and added a little banner that says fall. I like how everything is kind of coming together and matching well. Hopefully you can gather a few ideas and some inspiration today. Our do-it-yourself craft number four is going to take this old jello mold or a tart mold and this is a really light copper, so you can't really see the color of it very well in the picture, but it's actually a really light peachy copper, so it works great with my other things that I've been making. And I'm just using an old cork from a wine bottle as the stem. And you can usually get these tart molds at thrift stores pretty, I think I got this one for 25 or 50 cents. And then I made a little curly cue from a floral stem that wasn't being used. And then I put a little raffia bow on the top too. And there, there it is, very simple. Our do-it-yourself number five is going to be another cute Jenga pumpkin, a little easier than the first ones I showed you. You're going to need these wood craft cubes from Dollar Tree, and you're going to need six Jenga blocks, and that will make two pumpkins. You're going to paint them, and then you're just going to distress them if you'd like. We're going to tie a little jute rope on each one and that's it they're a lot easier option than the first one and they are super quick to put together these stood up on their own i didn't need to add any support in the back so they're perfect for little shelf sitters for this upcoming season
Our next do-it-yourself is number six. And we're going to be making some no-sew pumpkins. We're going to start by cutting out pumpkin shapes. I just got the shape off of the internet and then I traced it onto my fabric. And I'm gonna need two of each kind of fabric. So if you want, you can just cut them out together. And then you're going to put glue around the edges and stick the top piece onto the bottom piece. You're going to leave an opening at the bottom so that you can stuff it with your batting. And then after you get it stuffed to the desired thickness, you can take the glue gun, close up your opening, and if there were any others that popped out while you were filling it, you can go ahead and glue them again too. These are really cute on tiered trays or just sitting around places. After I trimmed them up a little bit, I went ahead and added a few little embellishments. I just used some embroidery floss on a couple and some jute twine on one and then this little burlap flower that I had. Do it yourself, number seven, is going to be this cute little Dollar Tree wooden pumpkin cutout. And I'm just going to paint it with some of my peach paint. And I wanted to light it up even more, so I did a little whitewash with some cream colored paint, and then I distressed the edges and painted the stem with some brown. I cut out my Cricut pieces and I just wanted it to say hello pumpkin and I got that put on and I also did some leaves for the edges now after I got that all done I decided to distress around the letters a little bit so they show up a little better And I added this little bow that was pre-made from Dollar Tree. And then took some burlap and just put it around the stem. Sorry, this video got a little too fast. There it is, the Hello Pumpkin. And you can always put a hanger on it or you can just set it somewhere. Whatever works best for you. Now I will be posting the links to all of these videos that were originally posted where they're a lot slower and a lot more informative on how to. Our do-it-yourself number eight is super quick and easy. You're going to need an old clipboard or a new clipboard. I got mine at a thrift store. You're going to need a paper cutter and you're gonna need a fall printable. Now I got this one for free off of the internet and I will link where I got it in the comments, in the, excuse me, in the description box. So you can look for that there, or there's also several more online. You just have to look for free pumpkin printables. So I just ended up fitting it down so it would work on the clipboard. I cut a little off of the ends and the sides. And then all I had to do was put it into the clipboard. And I just love it. It was so simple and it's so cute. Here's the finished product. Do it yourself. Number nine is going to be a napkin decoupage. So you're going to need some cute napkins. I got these at Dollar General for $1.50. And you're just going to need the top piece. There's usually two or three ply 
when you get napkins and this one had two so i'm just wanting that top layer and this makes it a little more see-through which we want the wood to show through because we're going to put this on this little cutting board that i got at a thrift store now i like to just use a torn looking edge so i put some water around it it just makes it come out a lot easier and i'm just trimming it up and then we're going to mod podge it to this little cutting board i'm going to put a very light layer so that we don't rip our napkin when we're putting it on so just get it in place there it's best to pat or use your palm of your hand so it doesn't tear i'm just getting out all the creases now we're going to put a little more decoupage on top to seal it now this is not to eat on or to use food that you cut on it it's just for decoration but here you can see how it turned out i love how it looks kind of antique -y and old and it fits in nice with our other pumpkin decor Our next do-it-yourself is number 10, and it's going to be a mason jar scarecrow. So I'm just going to take my acrylic paint and start painting this clean mason jar. Now, I wouldn't recommend the paint from Dollar General. That's where I got this, and it's just very... I, I don't know. It didn't cover very well. The coverage wasn't well at all. And this is a beige color. But I had to put three or four coats on this jar. You just want to paint it until it's no longer see-through. So I ended up kind of stippling it and doing that on the last layer and it did help. Next I'm just going to cut a piece of burlap to make like a headband for the jar and then I'm going to put a little bow that I'm making by just taking some wired ribbon, pinching it in the center and putting another little piece of ribbon around it. Next, I'm going to fill it full with raffia. You can use any Spanish moss, anything that you think would look good coming out of the top. So I glued the bow on, and now I'm just going to take a pencil and outline what I want to do for the face. And then I'm using my fabric markers. Because I still can't find my paint markers, I'm going to need to get some more. And I'm just drawing this face on. I'm going to color it in a little bit. I did up, end up adding some little white specks to the eyes and coloring in the eyelids, adding some eyebrows and some little rosy cheeks. Mm -hmm. 
do it yourself number 11 we're going to make a little sign it's going to say hey boo on it i'm using this sign from dollar tree it says beware on it i'm going to use the back side and i'm going to leave the front side as it is because then i could always use that side if i decide i want to So I start by just painting it with some cream colored paint. And then I'm printing out Hey and Boo on my Cricut and using my HTV vinyl that I iron on. I'm going to put the bow back in the top and I decided to add a little spider coming down from the word Hey. And here's how it came out super cute i won't put that one up till closer to halloween and again i will have all the links to the original posts of each video so that you can go back and watch a little slower if you need to and and uh, more details on how to make all of these And our last do-it-yourself for today is number 12. And we're going to make a harvest shadow box. And this is one of my favorites that I've made this year. I took this, this picture from Dollar General and it was $2.50. And I took the back off and saved that for something else. I took out the little pine cones. The glass broke on me when I took that out. But anyway, I got it all out and I put some scrapbook paper on the back page, which is I made out of some cardboard. Not the back page, the back panel, the back of the frame. I painted the Harvest metal sign brown and I had gotten that, that metal sign was in a pack of three different little words that I got at Dollar Tree. And then I'm taking these little orange pumpkins that I also got at Dollar Tree. They came in a set of six and I painted it a turquoise color and I got these little squash on some floral from Dollar Tree and I painted one of those, the peach color that I'm using. And then I'm just taking some floral leaves that I have and just kind of arranging them. I want them to look like they're spilling out of the frame. So after I get everything in place, I'm just going to put the brown ribbon hanger on it that was on it originally. I'm just going to put it back on. I added some of those little pine cones into the frame. And there you can see how it turned out. It's so cute. I've got it hanging up already on my wall. I will be doing a fall decorate video when I get to that point. I love how everything's coming together. So that was the 12th video and I hope you found some inspiration and ideas. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be posting all of the information to these videos in the description box below. Thank you for watching and come back and see us again. Bye.